going on guys it's Mike from the Z Review and thank you so much for tuning in to yet another video if you're brand new here please feel free to hit that subscribe button so I can see you next time and if you come back to the channel welcome back once again so today I'm going to be honest with you guys came into this review and I'm not looking forward to doing this review but let's get over and done with we're talking about a 2021 movie Dolphin Island which is directed by Mike Deason I believe this is his actual first ever live action film debut he has done a couple of animated debuts such as like postman pat the movie and hoodwinked i believe the film stars peter woodward and bob bledsoe and a whole bunch of other crappy characters which i'm not even going to mention because i'm not even going to waste your guys time let's just get straight into this i hated this film it was awful the plot line of this as well where annabelle is living with her granddad and kind of some maternal grandparents come over and want to take her back to new york that was the plot of this movie apart from the two actors that i mentioned who the only decent parts of this movie the best part of this movie and to be honest the only saving grace that i actually enjoyed in this movie was the scenery <laughs> and that kind of speaks volumes in itself the settings don't get me wrong like the bahamas setting or whatever this film was shot looked incredible i like kind of like the ocean views and the beach views personally for myself i kind of find the beach like a really relaxing place and I can kind of take my mind and thoughts kind of elsewhere in terms of just like a nice relaxing pace and kind of just any thoughts kind of dissolve because just walking by the beach and the water I personally love that this movie was a mess it was awful I really just wasted an hour and a half off my life you could tell this movie from the get-go should have been in like the Walmart bin in America here in the UK just in the bin. I don't know if we have like a discounted bin pile or whatever. But yeah, this movie is just a mess. I mean, in terms of the acting and the actresses in this. Because the main girl, Annabelle, isn't great. And the one thing I dislike about this movie a lot, as the movie keeps going on, it has to keep mentioning the character's name all the time. So, for example, like Annabelle, the main girl, like, you know, the granddad, Jonah, played by Peter Woodward. Every time he wants to talk to her, it's always like, Annabelle, Annabelle. Bell. and i'm just like i know the girl's name you don't need to keep telling me what it is i was just like it just felt patronizing when i was watching it and i was just really not a fan of that at all in terms of like the scenery i thought okay great this film's gonna make me escape kind of like any reality and take me into this fantasy world as such about this girl where this film is called dolphin island for example why was it not called custody island or why was it not called around 10 minutes dolphin footage island that would be more simple for this film i just felt like they added dolphin in there to kind of sell this movie for kids i mean when i read a couple of reviews on this movie it said that this was a great family fun film people from around 7 to 18 even adults are going to love this movie no they're not they're going to be absolutely bored to tears by this movie it was dreadful one of the worst movies that i've seen in a long time and i'm just so frustrated watching this absolute pile of crap or for example if you want to use an hour and a half and every time a name is mentioned in this movie you're probably going to be pretty blooded that's the only time you might enjoy this movie and yeah we get a dolphin called mitzi who's the main dolphin who this girl annabelle has an interaction with and kind of like a bond with that part of the film i didn't mind that there was one part where the dolphin actually took a can out of the ocean gave to Annabelle in terms of like recycling and chuck in the bin and I felt like that this film went down a route of maybe making some kind of like recycle awareness about the ocean or the fact that they had it where we, all you could see is like loads of parents or loads of kids for example littering the oceans and Annabelle starts a cause in this movie like with Mitzi kind of like because Missy does a lot of tricks maybe wearing more awareness about the ocean and then over time her spreading messages and the end of the film shows about the stats of throwing rubbish into the ocean and then the stats of actually the recyclingness i know david attenborough has been a big promoter of that on like blue planet for example this film could have maybe exceeded a lot more the acting doesn't save this film so if they had like maybe a strong strong message and a bit better premise about this film it would have been great and that could definitely justify the name dolphin island but this is definitely no dolphin island it was felt like custody island and i was bored by it i was like 
why is this in here? It deserved to be in like the Hallmark Channel or the Lifetime Movies, something like that. Guys, this film sucked and my D said, if he continues to direct films like this, I'm concerned if this guy directs another movie like this. If he's going to be Hallmark Movies only for the rest of his career and makes money, fair play to the guy and maybe you might like the movie. But yeah, my overall score for this review is... So yeah, I feel a lot better again. That ran out of the way. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this review. Again, I tried my best. I tried to give some positives to this. But really, it was a struggle even doing that. But thanks for tuning in. Please give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. What did you think of the film? Leave your comments below and tell me what you thought. Do you completely disagree and think I'm just talking hogwash? Let me know. I'd be intrigued to hear your thoughts. But until next time, guys, this has been the Z Review and I'll be seeing you later.